this piece was commissioned as part of the City of Hamilton's program to commemorate the bicentennial of the Battle of Stony Creek in the War of 1812. Battlefield, of course, is a seminal site in the War of 1812, especially for Canada. Uh, it's seen as one of the places where we turned the Americans back and kind of founded ourselves as a nation or a place different than the Americans. When we did our initial fo focus group, we looked at the site as a whole. So we have Smith's Knoll across the street, and that's more about a, a cemetery or actually honoring the dead and the people that sacrificed themselves. We have the original battlefield monument, which is from a century ago, where would be another interesting layer to add on to the history of commemoration and battle and heroism and nationalism that comes with the Stony Creek Monument. And they felt that the piece that was missing was a work about uh, the end of war and reconciliation and the Aboriginal contribution. The Battlefield Park uh, site is very important to us, uh, an important site during the War of 1812. What took place here was a, a way in which uh, our community uh, reaffirmed its commitment to the Crown. You know, we have the oldest treaty relationship with uh, Great Britain. It goes back to 1677. So our warriors were participating in, uh, in that alliance, a very long-standing alliance. But the war was also difficult because it divided our people. You know, we have this great tradition of the Tree of Peace, of one confederacy, of one voice. Well, this war split that voice in two and almost toppled that tree. So uh, looking at a site like this, it's almost bittersweet, knowing there's a price to be paid for every battle in the war and this uh, piece of artwork that's coming here is a way of uh, reconciling that history even to ourselves. It's a kind of a form of healing, of getting our minds back to understanding that all wars should end in peace. This one had an attraction mainly by its theme, healing and reconciliation. Uh, most of the other projects or artists that I talked to uh, were dealing with the, the military history and the conflict. The healing and re reconciliation, it just intrigued me. There's three elements that hold it together. You've got the medicine wheel, the covenant uh, chain, wampum belts, and the eagles. Because of our history with the Crown, it goes back to 1677, we developed a treaty relationship that was called the Covenant Chain of Peace. And the Covenant Chain is basically the Crown at one end and the Haudenosaunee or the Six Nations or the Native Nations at the other end, and the chain ties us together. So whenever the Crown wanted our attention, they would shake the chain. Their Indian agent would come to us and say, the King uh, needs your attention to this matter. And then whenever we had an issue that was uh, dealing with us, we'd shake the chain and they'd come and uh, usually address it. So it really was a problem-solving mechanism. It was a diplomatic tool. The eagle is a symbol in all indigenous cultures as uh, one of vision, one of strength. The yellow eagle is set in the east. And I've titled it Sovereign, and it's the affirmation that indigenous people are truly sovereign nations. This red eagle is in the south. It has the title of, of nations. The, the black eagle carries the, the title allies and if you're talking speaking to the theme about reconciliation you're speaking to this relationship of we're there in the most difficult times you may face and we expect you to be there for us well the white eagle i've titled, titled honor this comes from honoring and living up to the commitments you've made in the covenant chain and on every one of the bases of all the four pieces, there's the tree of peace with the eagle on top looking for uh, any threat to the peace. There was a lot of debate between a more traditional sculpture and, and this work. Um, and it was felt that this work allowed for a greater sense of interaction and interpretation because it's four pieces relating to each other as opposed to a single piece making an offering to the viewer. You have two entities talking about you know, what they might do to further themselves down that path of reconciliation. And uh, our history lends itself tremendously you know, with the, the images it provides and the icons it provides that speak to relationships and healing. But you need to open that up. You need to get inside of it. You need to understand it. It's this invitation to be people to sort of, you know, consider the history, look at how things were, look at how things can be made better by the generations today. It creates a new 
special sacred place and you can stand in the middle of that.